Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorov from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business and today I want to share a story with you. In general, I think there is too many tutorials these days uh, about Laravel or about technical stuff and they are more about theoretical scenarios, how to implement something and more and more should be taught about real-life scenarios, how to handle different situations, real-life examples, uh, how developers uh, find bugs, fix them, and more real-life, down-to-earth uh, examples. So this is one of them, kind of hypothetical example of a story between senior developer and junior developer on the team. I will show you in this video there will be two parts. One part will be uh, a bug that junior developer has done, and then uh, another part, well, who is to blame, then will be question who is to blame, senior or junior, or both. And then another part, I will actually show you uh, show you how to fix the bug. Right, so let's go. Uh, this is a simple project to place the order, just demo project, hypothetical again, to place the order uh, for a product, and it has the URL place order slash product ID. And in the code, if we go to our PHP store, uh, there is a URL place order with uh, with ID. And let's imagine a senior developer, well, it's not really senior code, uh, not sophisticated, but let's imagine one developer, more senior, wrote a service for that specific service to check out. And one method, create order, which does really simple things. So find a product, create order with that product, and then return the order. And the controller for that would be really simple. So you get product ID from the URL, from the route, then you create an order and then you return confirm checkout. Simple. So this code uh, was working and is working and then junior developer is hired on a team without direct contact with that senior or maybe that senior has left by then and junior developer has a task to change that product ID to come not from URL but from the session. Let's imagine that uh, there is a cart, shopping cart, so someone can add uh, products to their session and then instead of product ID here let's leave product ID here but uh, let's override that to be session product ID for example and for whatever reason junior developer as they tend to do forgot to check that uh, forgot to check that it actually exists so in their case on their local machine there uh, there was a session and it worked for them but uh, in this case for example if I don't have a session here I click that button and I will probably get an error which junior developer for example didn't have on their machine uh, because there was a session blah 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 and on production or on staging server someone will get this the question who is to blame junior or senior realistically if there is not that person on the team not uh, senior is not there everyone would be blaming junior to not place if statement here so if product id for example if not product id then throw some error like abort 404 for example at least so something like that but if you think about it uh senior is really to blame for the cause because what happens with junior developers in general, they tend to introduce bugs, basically. Uh, mostly because of not checking some edge cases, not uh, throwing exceptions here and there, so not thinking about all the cases. And senior should have done it while uh, architecting and uh, basically planning the service. So this should look like this. So here, instead of find, there's no check if that product actually exists. So I would blame the senior to not specifying that the product should exist uh, and not checking. So this is the first part of my video, who is to blame senior versus junior, actually both, but more I would blame the senior to not architect the service, which uh, generally if you create a service, it could be used from anywhere from future code, from, I don't know, mobile app, whatever, maybe if there's API. So you have to prevent all the edge cases and throw exceptions whenever something goes wrong. So uh, now let's uh, step into part two of this video and how to fix it. So another trick I want to show you or another error that you should not do 
for example, in Eloquent, there is a great function called find or fail. So it prevents uh, any errors. So you wouldn't get an exception and you could check uh, just with one line. So without doing any try catch or any if else, just find or fail. And you would consider that a fix. But what actually happens? Let's see. We place an order and we get 404. Now, what do you think that the user would think when you get 404 not found? Probably that the page doesn't exist. It's nothing about product or shopping cart or order or anything like that. 404 means page not found, uh, which means it doesn't give correct description of an error and what actually went wrong and, what, uh, and how to fix it. So uh, in reality, what seniors or what people with uh, uh, working on the core of the project, what they should do is throw exceptions whenever they can. So what should happen here is if, well, one of the examples, you can put it into try catch, but uh, simple way would be if there is no product, then throw new exception, or you can create your own exception with message uh, product not found with ID product ID and that should be as descriptive as possible of course uh, there is a thin line between between here uh, handled return I think yeah let's try the syntax we'll see if it works but my message is uh, that you should return the exception with uh, with the exact error message that the consumer needs to see uh, and here actually let's let's run this code and let's see if it actually throws an exception product not found with ID and now imagine yourself in the shoes of that junior developer okay I have an error product not found with ID or uh, if it happens on production it doesn't throw general 404 it shows exactly the error that product not found with ID or for example, message could be product is not in the session or empty card, please refresh the card, something like that. And then what junior developers should do is actually catch that error. So this error message is technical for the API, for the technical controller, but not for the user. So junior should transform that message, translate that into, into user, basically into human language. So product ID is in session and here you add try and then catch. Catch that exception, exception x for example, and then return, for example, let's simplify that, return your card has expired, please refresh the page for example. And let's see if that error is actually being caught, refresh the page, your card has expired, exactly. Or you can uh, return like 404 or a board or whatever or some other errors. So this is how, in my opinion, it should be done. There are multiple ways to handle that with even more complexity with uh, the, your own exceptions and stuff like that. But uh, the purpose of this video is to show how uh, juniors and seniors should work together. So seniors should create the core of the projects as flexible as possible and uh, and not as flexible, actually as strict as possible and catching and throwing all the potential things that may go wrong. For example, this may fail for whatever reason. For example, session isn't here, auth ID, price method could be empty, whatever. So a lot of things may go wrong and uh, the service that is responsible for creating orders should throw any exceptions here. Uh, I hope this video was useful. Uh, if you have any comments on the situation and how it could be handled differently, maybe even more elegant, please shoot in the comments on this YouTube video and subscribe to the channel Laravel Business where I talk about mo more about Laravel but also about business side of running web agency, web team, and I hope it will be useful. See you guys in other videos.